To be effective, uh, the DA meter needs uh, to be brought in the field and it needs to actually have the fruit measured directly in the field. It's a non-destructive measurement that, uh, as we said before, tells the grower how mature is their fruit. So the, the DA meter needs to be attached to the fruit from this small area where the lights come from. It needs to be very close to the fruit and then push the center button and it uh, takes the measurements on two sides of the fruit and in this way it's going to tell us how the fruit is mature or not and we can read in the center part of the screen we can read the, the value in this case is quite high meaning that the fruit is highly immature but uh, we already did know this part however by monitoring the fruit and monitoring the ripening of the fruit directly on the tree it allows the grower to understand when is the correct moment to harvest the fruit according to their correct development so the fruit we need to measure several fruit in the orchard to have a correct uh, measurement so we would say that uh, something like we should tag 25 fruit at least randomly in the orchard and those they need to be followed uh, along the entire season to understand how the development is but to understand how the orchard is doing uh, to bring in that uh, spatial variability and tree variability that normally happens that is one of the main reason of different quality um, we need to measure other 75 fruit randomly in the entire orchard for a total more or less of a hundred fruit that would give us a nice number a nice statistical number to understand uh, when we average it uh, what is actually happening as maturity in the entire orchard we need to do this weekly if we collect that one we are able to create a nice ripening curve and it is possible to predict with uh, two to three weeks in advance depending on the variety to predict the harvesting the correct harvest time mm -hmm.